Hello students. Hello students. In this video, we are going to discuss about the last topic of uh, this particular concept of maximum and minima, that is the Lagrange's method of undetermined multiplier. So basically, this is the extension of the absolute maximum and minima topic, which we have been discussed in our last video. So what about in this particular topic? Let me firstly brief you Lagrange's method of undetermined multiplier. So what will happen in this case? Earlier we have discussed in the case of absolute maximum and minima, we have discussed that we are given one function and we are given one region also. Right, but what will happen in this case, we are given one function, but we are given more than one region. Say, have phi one x, y, z equal to c one, phi two x, y, z equal to c two, and so on, maybe phi n x, y, z equal to c n. So we are given, say, n regions. So we want to find out the extreme value of the function relative to all the given region only so in this case because we are given more than one region so the first step is we are going to construct one function which is the linear combination of all the functions means we are adding say lambda 1 times phi 1 lambda 2 times phi 2 plus so on lambda n times phi n so it means that we have constructed one function f which is the given function as well as all the constraint also. Then we are going to calculate the extreme point of this function. So we are going to differentiate it with respect to all the variables x, y, z and put them equal to zero. So automatically whatever the extreme point we are getting here x, y, z, these points are common in O common for this particular function as well as this point also falls on the boundary of all these given region. That is the intersection point of all the given region also. Okay, so this point should be common in all the given surfaces, all the region as well as the function also. So that point is called the extreme point. Now, in this particular part, we are not going to check the condition of the maxima and minima directly. Okay, otherwise we do have a formula for the same, but in this case, uh, like for this particular part, we are going to check if we want to check that either it is a point of maximum or point of minima. Then the first thing is in most of the problems, we are going to calculate the extreme point only. But if in some problems the question is about to check the maximum and minima of the function, then we can check the maximum and minima with the help of the physical significance of the property. Like sometime we need to calculate the distance, okay? Or sometime we'll get more than one point. So on the comparison basis, we can find out the point where the function attain its maximum value, that is the point of maxima, where the function attain its minimum value, that is called the point of also, right? So we are going to use that particular concept. So basically our main concern in this particular part is to calculate the extreme point as well as the extreme value of the function also. So let us try some problem based on this particular part. So the question is find the extreme value of the function under the constraints. So in this question, we are given one function. Say this is our function f of x, y. And we are given two constraints. Say this is our phi 1 and this is our phi 2. So firstly, given our function f of x, y is x square plus 2xy plus z square and the constraint phi 1, this is 2x plus y equal to 0 and phi 2, this is x plus y plus z minus 1 equal to 0. So the first step is we are going to construct one function capital F as f plus lambda 1 phi 1 plus lambda 2 phi 2 where these lambda i's are called the Lagrangian multiplier. They are called the Lagrangian multiplier. So the first step is 
we are going to differentiate this equation. Let us firstly substitute the value of phi 1 and phi 2. This 2x plus y and phi 2 is x plus y plus z minus 1. So the first step is we are going to differentiate it with respect to the variables. So if we differentiate it with respect to x, this is 2x plus 2y plus lambda 1 time 2 plus lambda 2 time 1. Then we differentiate with respect to y. It will be 2x plus lambda 1 time 1 plus lambda 2 time 1. And if we differentiate our function with respect to z, this will be 2z plus lambda 1 times 0 plus lambda 2 times 1. So here we can get 2x plus 2y plus 2 lambda 1 plus lambda 2. Here it is 2x plus lambda 1 plus lambda 2. Here it is 2z plus lambda 2. Right? So for the extreme point condition is curly f upon curly x equal to 0, curly f upon curly y equal to 0, curly f upon curly z equal to 0. Means we are going to substitute each of this equation equal to 0. So basically our concern is to find out the value of x, y, z which will satisfy this condition as well as this constraint also. So we want to calculate the value of x, y, z. Already we have a two equations. So basically we need one more equation in x, y, z so that by solving them simultaneously, we can get the value of x, y, z. So there are two ways. One is what can we do? So we have a three conditions. Say this is number one, this is number two, and this is number three. So these three equations containing lambda one and lambda two, so we solve them simultaneously to eliminate lambda 1 and lambda 2 so that we can get one equation in x and y. And then we solve these three equations. So these two and one equation which we get after compiling these three equations. And we can get the value of x, y, z. The other way is instead of eliminating lambda 1 and lambda 2, we calculate the value of lambda 1 and lambda 2 in terms of x, y, z. And then we substitute the value in these two equations to get the value of lambda 1 and lambda 2. And then back substitute its value to get the value of x, y, z. So which one is more convenient method, we'll try to adopt that one, right? For example, if we just look at third equation. So from third equation, it is easy to calculate the value of z as lambda 2 by 2. So from second equation, we can get the value of x as minus lambda 1 plus lambda 2 by 2 and from first two equation if we subtract them if we subtract these two equation x get cancel out lambda 2 get cancel out so we can get 2y plus lambda 1 equal to 0 means the value of y is minus lambda 1 by 2 it is easy to get the value of x y and z so if we substitute this value in these two equation then what do we get? Let us see. Basically, we get the value of x as minus lambda 1 plus lambda 2 by 2. The value of y is minus lambda 1 by 2. And the value of z is minus lambda 2 by 2. And we have the two constraint that is 2x plus y equal to 0. Right. If I substitute the value of x as 2 times minus of lambda 1 plus lambda 2 by 2 and y as minus lambda 1 by 2. So 2 and 2 get cancel out. So this will give us minus lambda 1 minus lambda 2 minus lambda 1 by 2. So that is minus 3 by 2 lambda 1 equal to lambda 2. And another equation we have x plus y plus z equal to 1. So x is minus lambda 1 plus lambda 2 by 2. y is lambda 1 by 2. z is lambda 
the two by two with negative sign. So all of them are negative. Two is the LCM. So it is two times lambda one plus two times lambda two. So two and two get cancelled out. So minus lambda one minus lambda two equal to one. But lambda two is three by two times lambda one. So this is one by two lambda one equal to one. So the value of lambda one is two. If lambda one is two, then lambda two is equal to minus three by two times two, which is minus three. So from here, what do we get? X. So the value of x comes out to be minus of lambda one plus lambda two by two. So it is one by two. The value of y is minus two by two. That is minus one. And the value of z is minus of minus three by two. So the point is one by two minus one and three by two. So we can cross check also that either it satisfy the given condition to into one by two is one minus one is zero and here if we add them minus one by two plus three by two is one yes it satisfies this condition as well as the value the constraint also so this is the extreme point so with the help of this we can find out the extreme value of the function also so the point is this is basically x minus z. So the point is the point is one by two minus one and three by two. So our function will be x k plus two x y plus z k two x y plus z k. So one by four minus one plus nine by four. So 10 by 4, that is 5 by 2 minus 1 is 3 by 2. So this is the extreme value of the function. So this is the extreme point, and this is the extreme value of the function. Okay. So what is the criteria? Firstly, construct the function, which is the linear combination of function and constraint. Find out its derivative with respect to all the independent variables. Substitute them equal to 0. So now, already the number of variables are there but we have added more parameters like this lagrangian multiplier so in this case the number of unknowns are five and two constraints are already given and three equations so we have a five system of equation with five unknown so we need to solve them simultaneously to get the value of unknown x y z we are not interested to find out the value of lambda one and lambda two our main purpose is to find out the value of x, y, z only. Okay. Let us try another problem. So now in this question, so this is our function f of x, y, z. This is x square plus y square plus z square plus x, y plus y, z plus x square. And say 5, 1 is x plus y plus z minus 1. And phi 2 is x plus 2y plus 3z minus 3. Firstly, we are going to construct one function capital F, which is a linear combination of function and the constraints. That is x k plus y k plus z k plus xy plus yz plus zx plus lambda 1 time x plus y plus z minus 1 plus lambda 2 time x plus 2y plus 3z minus 3. So the first step is we are going to calculate its derivative with respect to x. So it is 2x plus y plus z plus lambda 1 time 1 plus lambda 2 time 1. We differentiate with respect to y, then this is 2y plus x plus z plus lambda 1 times 1, lambda 2 times 2. And curly f upon curly z, this is 2z plus x plus y, lambda 1 times 1, lambda 2 times 3. 
now for extreme point extreme point we are going to put all three of them equal to zero means this is equal to zero means 2x plus y plus z plus lambda 1 plus lambda 2 equal to zero means 2y plus x plus z plus lambda 1 plus 2 lambda 2 equal to 0. This means 2z plus x plus y plus lambda 1 plus 3 lambda 2 equal to 0. So now again we have a two equation. So we need one more equation in x, y, z to get the extreme point. So we'll try again we have a two option either we calculate the value of lambda 1 and lambda 2 from here in term of x y z or so we'll try to eliminate lambda 1 and lambda 2 to get one equation in x y z and by solving them simultaneously we can get the value of x y z or we can calculate the value of x y z in term of lambda 1 and lambda 2 so what will happen in this case so if i subtract first two I subtract first two, then you can see here minus 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 z and z get cancel out, and one x and one y get cancel out, and lambda one also get cancel out. So from one and two, we'll get the equation as x minus y plus lambda two. Sorry, minus lambda two equal to zero. And if we subtract, uh, say, second and third, then you can see here again lambda lambda get cancelled out. This is minus lambda two, and this time x and x get cancelled out. So we get y minus z minus lambda two equal to zero. So because again these two are equal to lambda two. So these two are equal to lambda 2 so we can get one equation as x minus y equal to lambda 2 and y minus z equal to lambda 2 so it means that these two are equal x minus y equal to y minus z or x minus 2y plus z equal to 0 and already we have a two more equation x plus y plus z equal to 1 also as the constraint x plus y plus z equal to 1 and x plus 2y plus 3z equal to 3. So we need to solve them simultaneously to get the value of x, y, z. So we can apply here the uh, matrix method A x equal to b. So here A is the coefficient matrix 1 minus 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3 we are going to consider the augmented matrix a augmented b right where x is where x is x y z and the b matrix is 0 1 and 3 so we are going to apply the concept of rank to find out the solution of the system so firstly we will try to make these two entries 0 r2 minus r1 and r3 minus r1 1 minus 1. So we have no change in the first row. So 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. 2 plus 2 is 4. 3 minus 1 is 2. And here 1 minus 0 is 1. 3 minus 0 is 3. So we can divide second row with 3 or 2 by 3 so it will give us 1 minus 2 1 is 0 0 1 0 1 by 3 so 0 4 2 3 and we apply the operation r3 minus 4 times r2 to make this entry 0 so it will give us 1 minus 2 0 0 0 1 0 1 by 3 0 4 minus 4 0 2 minus 0 2 3 minus 4 by 3 so 
So three minus four by three, nine minus four is nine minus four by three is five by three. It is five by three. So it will gives us x minus two y plus. Hmm. Plus add equal to zero. Y equal to one by three. Two Z equal to five by three. Means Z equal to five by six. Y equal to one by three. X equal to two Y minus Z. So two by three minus five by six. So six is the LCM. 4 minus 5 is minus 1 by 6. So the extreme point is the point is minus 1 by 6. Y is 1 by 3 and 5 by 6. So mostly we need to see that either it will satisfy the condition x plus 5 plus z equal to 1. So minus 1 by 6, 1 by 3 plus 5 by 6. Minus one plus three two plus seven minus one six by six. Yes, it's satisfied. Or x plus two y plus three z equal to three. So x plus two y plus three z minus one plus four plus fifteen. 19 18 by 6 is equal to 3. Yes, it satisfies. So, this is the extreme point. Extreme point. So, extreme value of the function is f of minus 1 by 6, 1 by 3, 5 by 6. That is x square, y square, z square, xy y z and z x so this is 1 by 36 1 by 9 25 by 36 minus 1 by 18 5 by 18 minus 5 by 36 so if we take the lcm of 36 1 plus 4 plus 25 minus 2 plus 10 minus 5 so 30 plus 10, 40, 40 minus 7 is 33 by 36, so it's 11 by 12. This is the extreme value of the function. Okay, so the main concept is to solve, to, we want to find out the value of x, y, z, which is the extreme value of this function, but subject to these constraints means it will also satisfy the given function as well as it will also satisfy the constraint also. So first step is we need to construct this function which containing the Lagrangian multiplier lambda 1 and lambda 2. These are the Lagrangian multiplier. Lagrangian multiplier. Right. So firstly we differentiate them with respect to the variables and then put them equal to 0 for the extreme value. And then either we eliminate lambda 1 and lambda 2 so that we can get a system of equation and we combine it with this system of equation. We find out the value of x, y, z. That point is the extreme. So here to get the value of x, y, z because we get three system of equations. So here we have applied the concept of rank because in this case rank of the augmented matrix is equal to rank of A. So it may, is equal to the number of unknown. It has a unique solution. It has a unique solution. So we can get the value of x, y, z. Right? Okay. Now let us try another problem. This time the question is we need to find out maximum value. Right? So far we are uh, we have calculated the extreme value of the function only, but this time we are expecting the maximum value. Let us see. So this is our function and again we are given two constraints x k plus z square minus 1 equal to 0 
and phi 2 is phi minus x equal to 0. So firstly, we'll construct one function f. This is a linear combination of phi 1 and phi 2, where lambda 1 and lambda 2 are Lagrangian multiplier. So f is x, y, z plus lambda 1 times x square plus z square minus 1 plus lambda 2 times y minus x. So first step is we are going to differentiate it with respect to two variables x, y, z. So it is y, z plus lambda 1 times 2x plus lambda 2 times minus 1. With respect to y, this is xz plus lambda 1 into 0 plus lambda 2 into 1. Differentiate with respect to z, this is xy plus lambda 1 times 2z plus lambda 2 times 0. So for extreme point, the condition is we are going to put all the three derivatives equal to zero. So if we put them equal to zero means this will be equal to yz plus 2x times lambda 1 minus lambda 2 equal to zero. This is equal to zero means xz plus lambda 2 equal to zero. This is equal to 0 means xy plus lambda 1 times 2z equal to 0. Okay. So here again from third equation, you can get the value of lambda 1 as minus xy upon 2z. And from second equation, we can get the value of lambda 2 as minus of xz. And if we replace the value in first equation, we can get one equation in x, y, z. We have y, z plus 2x times lambda 1 minus lambda 2 equal to 0. So this is y, z plus 2x times the value of lambda 1 is minus x, y upon 2z. And lambda 2 is minus x, z. So here 2 and 2 get cancelled out. This negative sign also get cancelled out. So this will gives us yz plus minus x square y on z plus xz equal to 0. This is one equation and we have a two more equation x square plus z square equal to 1 and y minus x equal to 0 means x equal to y. So if we replace x equal to y here, then it is xz minus x cube upon z plus xz equal to 0. So it means 2xz minus x cube upon z equal to 0 or 2xz square minus x cube equal to 0 or x is common 2z square minus x square equal to 0. So from here, either we get x equal to 0 or x square equal to 2z square. And if I put x square equal to 2z square in equation star, we have x square plus z square equal to 1. And from here, 2z square plus z square equal to 1. It means 3z square equal to 1. The value of z square is 1 by 3. So the value of z is plus minus 1 by root 3. So what is x square? 2z square. 2z square is 2 by 3. The value of x is plus minus root 2 by 3. And what is y? y is same as x. So y is x is plus minus root 2 by 3. So if we are interested in maximum value, so what is the point? If x equal to 0, x equal to 0 means y equal to 0 and x square plus z square equal to 1 means 
z equal to plus minus one. So what are the points we are getting here? So the points are zero zero plus minus one. Another set of points is plus minus root two by three, plus minus root two by three, and the value of z is plus minus one upon root three. means x and y they are of same sign z can be positive or negative but we know that the maximum value is when we have a positive value so f of x y z when either x and y both of them are positive or both of them are negative but z should be positive that is x y and z so it comes out to be 2 by 3 2, 3 this is the maximum value of the function right in this case on the comparison basis we can get this value because if i consider 0 0 plus minus 1 then the value of the function is 0 because we need to take the product and if we consider them all of them are negative then its value is negative with the same sign with the same absolute value means its value is minus 2 by 3 root 3. Okay. So what is the maximum value? This is the maximum value of the function. Okay. So in this case, we can get the maximum value of the function. When we are getting more than one point on the comparison basis, we can easily judge that where the function will attain its maximum value. So this is the concept while solving the problem of Lagrange's method of undetermined multiplier. So what is the concept here? We are given one function and we are given some constraints. So first step is we are going to construct one function, which is the linear combination of the function and the constraints. We differentiate with respect to the variables, put them equal to zero. So we'll get the three plus n, n plus three equations with n plus three unknown because lambda is are unknown they are the multipliers and x y z they are also unknown so by solving these system of equations simultaneously we need to find out the value of x y z so this point is called the extreme point and the corresponding value of the function is called the extreme value of the function okay so this is the concept of the lagrange's method of undetermined multiplier so you can try some more problems from the exercise part. Still, if you find out any doubt or any query, you can post your query in the comment box. I'll try to provide you the solution of this. So try this one. Thank you and have a